Today, guys, we are going to finally, finally reveal to you a project that we've been working on for so, so long. This project is the reason kung bakit nag-post muna tayo sa YouTube because kailangan to ng maraming, maraming brain power and brain cells. Pero guys, seeing it right now with all the renders and this scale model that we'll show you today makes it all worth it. This is The Rise at Monterrazas. Okay, so before we actually do a reveal of the project, pag-usapan muna natin yung backstory behind this entire development because it's very, very interesting, especially because we are building it on the side of the mountain. So we had like three pillars in mind when we were designing this. We want it to be architecturally forward, something that Cebu or the Philippines has never seen before. We wanted it to be not just maganda tingnan, pero very, very usable din and may added benefit to the user. And lastly, because we're building on a mountainside, we want the project to be as sustainable as possible. And we've had several, several iterations to get to this point. This whole thing actually took us maybe around 300 different versions. So, gusto ko lang mag thank you kay LLG Architects for being really patient with us. So, these were some of our past designs. And if you see right here, it looks like any other project. It doesn't hit those pillars na gusto namin. You can even see na may mga retaining walls dito, meaning in the original design, carved out the mountain, so not as sustainable. And it looks very congested and traffic just going through the area. Hindi siya bagay to be on the mountainside. It doesn't belong there talaga. So, nag-step back na naman ulit kami. And we kind of got inspired by working with nature and the biggest inspiration for us was how us Filipinos work with nature in the past. We got inspired by the Banawe rice terraces. So instead of a normal building which is typically straight up and down, we kind of like worked with the terrain. So we just pushed everything towards the terrain and just followed the flow of the mountain. So this is the whole concept behind this one but there's so 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 many details pero i think it's time na buksan na natin yung project natin ladies and gentlemen the rise at montera This is what we've been working on for so, so long. And honestly, to see it in front of me right now brings so much joy to my heart because there was a lot of times where we thought, baka itong project na to, hindi to possible because there were a lot of details that we had to think through, to work on, just to make this into what it is today. So for example, kanina pinakita natin na vertical yung structure, di ba? Uh, but if you come here, imagine if this was our tower sana here, but we pushed everything towards the mountain and just worked with the terrain. So each and every space was pushed towards the back. And with that, we're able to create this free flowing design. But not only that, this whole structure is now spread out across the mountain, making it a whole lot safer and less yung environmental impact natin. Not only that, by pushing it towards the back, the unit below becomes the outdoor space of the top, the unit below, outdoor space at top, and so on and so forth. So, this makes the entire project feel more like a home because each and every unit meron na siyang malaking outdoor space. Some of the units here even have a bigger outdoor space than my own house and that is something we were able to offer for the rice. Not only does it look good, it has all the advantages of a home with the advantages of condominium living. But, there's more, mom sir. Diba, tinulok natin sa likod. Siyempre, there's hallways behind this. Those areas that are facing the mountain, hindi na natin kayang gawa ng unit, diba? So what we did in the context of making this as much of a house as possible, 
is we gave each and every unit storage space behind them. Lahat ng mga Christmas trees natin, yung mga party tables and chairs, meron tayong storage space, which is the typical problem of condominium living. So, best of both worlds yung ino-offer natin dito. So, let's get our bearings muna. This area is just outside Monterrazas de Cebu. We're going to completely revamp the entry towards the subdivision. So, ito yung magiging bagong guardhouse. Meron na siyang big welcome area right here. And if you follow that road all the way up, that's Monterrazas Prime, yung Skypod 2.0 na ginawa natin. Sold out na pala tayo dun, guys. So, thank you very much for all the support. So, this whole area is called Guadalupe area. That's the biggest residential barangay in Cebu City. And this one is very close to Chonghua Hospital, Cebu Doctors Hospital, close to San Carlos School, and very, very close to Ayala Center, Cebu, just about 15 minutes away. So imagine having all that convenience, pero nasa side ka na of the mountain. Lahat ng mga units here are facing one way towards the east. So it's facing IT Park, Cebu Business Park. And since we're at the side of the mountain, each and every unit meron at meron talagang views. And not only that, dito yung entrance natin, di ba? Pagpasok natin, because we designed it like this, hindi na siya kagaya ng old design natin na mukhang traffic and congested. We are working now with the terrain and makikita natin yung natural ebb and flow of the mountain right here. So this is going to be a very, very premium and low density development. We only have 146 units for the rise and then right across it dito itong naka plastic na to we're going to be building a mall here in the future so the whole entire Monterrazas de Cebu development will kind of be like a township in the future but guys just look at this if pagpasok mo dito and you're driving through ito yung magigreet natin dito and ang ganda and ang organic ng feeling just going through here and imagine you being in the mall meron tong mga outdoor space here also this is the view that you'll be looking at ito yung backdrop natin while you're enjoying your coffee you're enjoying your meal here and if you can see very very closely meron tong outline of lights that draw those flowing lines of the development. And I imagine ko lang at night and how beautiful that would look like. Not only that, imagine if dito ka nakatayo. You're also looking towards the backdrop of the entire development na very green, very lush. It feels as if you're wrapped in nature. So, may konting akong detail na papakita sa inyo. And just, this just goes to show how much thought was put into this development. So, for example, kanina explanation ko, andito kami, di ba? How do we protect our privacy right here? Siyempre, it's easy for someone to go towards the balcony and look down towards you, di ba? And this is why itong strip na to, itong green strip right outside was placed. It's not only just to be as green as possible, but it's also a conscious design effort to protect the privacy of the residents. There's a good distance from the railing to the edge. Parang may setback siya para hindi makikita agad kung sino yung nasa baba. So that's the entire design of that space. By doing this strip also of greenery, we are able to give back towards the mountain one hectare of greenery. So just to give that context, yung bahay ko mga 300 square meters, 400 square meters. So that's like 20 to 30 sky pods just on greenery alone. Speaking of greenery and sustainability, this was something that's very smart that was done by one of our consultants. So this would be very, very expensive to maintain, to water. So we actually designed the rice to have an irrigation system similar to those in mga farms. 